Did you guys know that the first Rubik's Cube to ever be created didn't have any springs? It was held together by using paper clips and rubber bands. However, all the cubes we know today have springs, like this one. It turns this well because there's springs in it. If it didn't have any springs, it would turn like this. But today, I received two speed cubes that do not use any springs. But to better understand how this cube got rid of springs, we first need to understand how a normal springed cube works. A springed cube. Here I have a typical speed cube core, and as you can see, well, you cannot see much, right? Well, that's much better. You can see that there's a spring mechanism on each side of the cube. Let's take a better look. So each side of the cube is held together by a screw and a spring and the centerpiece. And when you put the screw in the hole, you can see... Whip, whip, whip. And if you attach this back to the cube, you can see that there's a pull towards the core, like an inward force. And this force inwards makes more sense when we put the cube back together. It makes sure that all the pieces are held together, but it also provides this stretch that just improves the performance of the cube. Now, this isn't the only spring system, but all systems we know of work with the same principle. A spring provides tension. So let's take a look now at the two new cubes. When we take the maglev WRM apart, let's loosen that up a bit. Huh, we can already see that something spooky is going on here. That's better. Can we talk about these purple insides? I think Moyu got some inspiration somewhere. So far I noticed nothing special about this core. I guess we need to take a better look. Yep, feels like a normal core. Let's see what is different on the inside. The moment of truth. Whoa. Now we have a screw and two magnets. One magnet fits in the centerpiece and the other magnet is at the top of the screw. They are placed with the same polarity towards each other. So that when you put the screw in the centerpiece, they push each other away. They repel each other. And this creates the spring-like feeling. Notice how this one magnet pushed the other magnet right into the centerpiece. So putting the core back together, we notice the exact same thing as the previous core. A force inwards. Of course, the RS3M works in the exact same way, but let's still take a look. The bottom magnet, the top magnet, they repel each other. I should also mention that the spring compression system still works on the new cube, but it's probably called the magnet compression system. Because the magnets are brought closer towards each other, there's a stronger repulsion. But let's actually talk about my first impressions of both cubes. Do I notice a difference, yes or no? Well, first impressions are that it just feels like a springed cube, but like very loose springs because the force is kind of weak. I mean, the cube is definitely too weak. Let's see if I can actually tension it and get it to where I like it. This already feels way better. Let me actually compare the maglev version to the stock one. Well, the stock one actually feels better, but I think the reason for that is because this one is looped and this one is just dry. But aside from that, these cubes feel identical. Like if someone told me that there's something special about this cube, I would never have guessed that it didn't have springs. And the same can be said about the RS3M. Maybe they are a bit faster because there's less resistance because there's no springs, but I cannot tell the difference. 
So you might be wondering right now, it's all cool and stuff that this cube has no springs, but what, what's actually the point? What is the advantage of maglev? Well, the biggest advantage I can think of is that it gets rid of this. Spring noise in cubes, because yeah, this cube doesn't have any springs. Maybe magnet noise? No, they are pretty silent. Aside from that, it is just cool. So it seems like Maglev is gonna be the future of cubing because just now, Gan has posted that their newest flagship will also use Maglev technology. Might be something big, I don't know. I mean, even if Maglev only solves one problem, which is spring noise, then that's a good thing, right? But perhaps it opens a whole new world of innovations. Maybe better tensioning systems, smoother cubes. No, that's all I can think of. Guys, I just discovered a huge con of a magnetic core. Magnets lose about 1% of their strength over 10 years, which means that I would probably have to buy a new cube every 200 years, which is not okay. Anyways, thanks to Moyu for sending these cubes out to me. If you wanna buy them, links are in the description. If you do so, please use discount code CUPED to get a huge discount code and a free logo and support this channel. If you wanna know about other ways to support this channel, please check the description. A huge thanks to all the members in the description. And if you wanna see a video of my favorite springed cube, check out this video right here. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao guys, bye bye.